There's a chance. The Rich Eisen shows. That there could be. <laughs> higher register. Take of the week. All right, Chris Brockman, you ready? You go first. All right, uh, I'm going to talk NBA, Rich. All right. The news all week, the gigantic Harden to the Nets trade. It's worked out. Harden's uh, meeting with the media right now. Called himself an elite player, an elite teammate, an elite leader. That's a lot of elites. Kyrie Irving is expected to play this week. He's elite. Kevin Durant's been an MVP throughout the first part of the season. Elite. I think this Harden trade's going to work out for the Nets. You do think so, huh? I think they're going to the finals. Wow. Ooh. Okay. By the way, he's saying he's elite in terms of a teammate and a leader. Yeah. He said he regrets how it ended, but it worked out for both sides of Houston. Whatever that means. Well, I mean, Houston's got a, a huge future, and they won without him last night. What a what a feeling that must be for and the I young And I have hardened on my fantasy kids. team, so I really oh, very good. <laughs> that, 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 Now we know why you went higher register. It's starting right to make sense. What do you got over there, TJ Jefferson? What's your higher register? Well, register? guys, you know, when you believe in things that you don't understand, then you suffer. Superstition ain't the way. You know, superstition plays a huge part in sports. No doubt. You know, whether it's Tiger wearing red on Sunday or Noma. Remember Noma and all oh, his batting oh routine? Oh, my God. Yeah, I got nervous watching it. MJ and his UNC shorts and Wade Boggs eating all that chicken, you know. And as a fan, we have our own superstition. You know, you got to wear the same jersey or the same socks. You got to eat off the same plate or drink yeah. out of the same cup. So I was thinking this. The Cleveland Browns won their first playoff game since 1994 last week against the Steelers. Correct. And what happened? Their head coach, Kevin Stefanski, was sitting at home in his basement watching a 100-foot <laughs> TV screen. <laughs> and because sitting in the same seat is something that's kind of like a superstition yes. for sport fans, yeah. maybe, and I'm just saying, just maybe, <laughs> Kevin Stefanski <laughs> should stay home for this playoff game. That's tremendous. Maybe. That is just fantastic. Just to keep it, you know, I'm telling you, Maybe you should stay home. I'm telling Excellent. you, I have Excellent. extended I have, I extended many a Don Mattingly hit streak by staying in the same spot where I was watching the game. <laughs> I, I totally get it. Nate, Nate Zagora, well my boy, done. think about that, man. Have Maybe Stefanski well stays home. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Kansas City Chiefs. That's it's the funny. fact that That's he did funny. not stay at home and watch the game from last week. That's well funny. done, TJ. That's Thank funny. you, sir. Uh, okay, so we were all wondering, what was, uh, was Doug Peterson thinking by putting in Nate Sudfeld? What was he doing? And we were wondering, is he trying to get himself fired? And and and, and then we thought, okay, he's he's just doing what was asked of him. We found out after the, the season was over um, that – you know, he was going to have his job. He was going to stick with his job, and and, and he was going to have a, an exit interview with Jeffrey Lurie, and it was all going to be just fine. Then he has the exit interview with Jeffrey Lurie, and then uh, he's fired. <laughs> and even Jeffrey Lurie admitted he didn't deserve to lose his job. But the way it looks like is that the organization, because they are so financially tied to Carson Wentz, and that Wentz and his relationship with Doug Peterson was so destroyed because Wentz couldn't handle the benching, and anything else that was going on that he, Wentz admitted to the Associated Press that he did not go to the exit interviews with Doug Peterson, couldn't even look him in the face, that that was the relationship that was going on. And if the owner was looking at Doug Peterson and saying, forget Jalen Hurts, I know he's really talented, but we've got to go with Carson Wentz. And that's what it sure sounds like what it was. Here's my higher register. Maybe Doug Peterson knew what he was doing all along. <laughs> Maybe Doug knows what he's doing after. Him. Because if he had to go back wow. and run it back with Carson Wentz, with the coaching staff, not the way that he wanted it anyway, see ya. See ya. Out the door. Jonah Hill, Jeff. And that's uh, our higher register wow. for this week here uh, on the Rich Eisen well Show. Well done, boys. Instead of, and, and I think, yes, I, I agree. Well done. That was a great man. That might have well been your done. best one ever, TJ. TJ. Thank you. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.